Rarely is September does it really truly feel like fall. That's more October, but at least the temp does start trending downward. Our last triple digit day was back on Friday, August 23rd. We had a high of 103. That puts us at 23 total triple digit days for this summer. Remember, we averaged 20, so we're going to finish the year or finish the season with an above normal amount. Will we add any more to that? Time will tell. Wait until you see that 14 day forecast. Average last 100 degree day, August 27th. And as I mentioned, we can easily have them sometime in September and the latest on record October 3rd, where we hit 106 back in 1951. But the trend at this point is downward in that high temperature. Today, the normal high is 94. By September 1st, it's 93. September 15th, it's 89. October 1st, it's 84. And then look by the end of October, it's down to 72. So that's where I was saying really that fall air starts to arrive in October, but we definitely do start to cool off as we head through the month of September. Any rain we had out there earlier today has come to a close from that disturbance. It's kind of spinning down to the south. We'll keep some spotty showers in the forecast yet again tomorrow, but most places will be dry. Most will continue to be dry through the uh, rest of the upcoming week, but changes do arrive this weekend. By Friday, a front starts to get a little closer to us, kind of stalls out across Texas as we head into the upcoming Labor Day weekend. That'll allow chances for scattered showers and storms basically each and every day through the upcoming weekend. Will the entire weekend be a washout? Will it rain all day long in every single square inch of North Texas this entire upcoming weekend? Highly unlikely. But Friday, Saturday, Sunday, your Labor Day Monday, will there likely be some rain out there in North Texas? Yeah, I definitely think there will be. Quarter and a half an inch or so when it's all said and done. I wouldn't cancel any plans at this point but just maybe start coming up with an indoor alternative in case you need to shift things inside. And there goes the temperature trend downward by Labor Day Monday, 90 degrees. It's been a few weeks since we've even seen a temperature around 90 degrees. And uh, during the month of August, we have not had a high in the 80s at all. It's conceivably possible that some places don't even make it to 90 on your Labor Day Monday. Not as humid tonight, though. Light winds, 77 your low, hot, humid, and near normal tomorrow, 96 your high. Remember, 94 is the hot, you know, the normal high. We are still in August. I'm going to go 97 Wednesday, 96 Thursday, 95 Friday, and then it gets a little bit better for the weekend. Of course, we talked about those rain chances. And then that first week of September, I don't so see us, you know, climbing uh, back upwards, you know, really crazily or anything like that. So those highs are all there in the low 90s. And so no triple digits over the next two weeks. 